Yeah, hi everyone, Frankie again. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you a bit about the keyword harvesting and also the email harvesting features that have been uh, put into Scrapebox a few versions back. Uh, so to start off with keywords, up here on the harvester you'll see the scrape button. And when you go ahead and click that, it brings up a uh, box here where you can enter your keywords below. So we'll just start out by typing test in there and we click the scrape button and that's done and it's brought up 10 uh, suggestions surrounding uh, the word uh, test and where these come from is in Google whenever you type a query into the box um, Google suggest it's called uh, will drop down a list of 10 uh, most commonly sort of um, search for words uh, that begin with test so Scrapebox goes out, it puts a word into um, Google, it will fetch these 10 uh, suggestions that drop down and pull them back into Scrapebox. And that's where um, it gets its data from. You can also um, define your own uh, Google locations and you can do that back on the main um, interface here you'll see a drop down and you can you can put in you know google dot um, fr for example and uh, scrape uh, the suggest data from that uh, location the other cool thing you can do with it is once you've got your 10 uh, keywords you can send them back to your keyword uh, list over on the on the left there and you can hit scrape again and what that will now do is take each of these keywords and then in turn put them into Google scrape the 10 alternate suggestion for those and we started off with 10 and we scraped um, 10 keywords for each each one and we've now got 110 and I mean you can keep doing this sort of you know and come up with thousands you know I've come up with probably five six thousand and and um, stopped it of my own accord but I mean this is a great feature for um, not only the harvester in Scrapebox itself but you know also coming up with um, you know long tail keyword variations for when you're um, building websites and blogs and publishing articles so I mean you can type your keywords in here scrape a great big uh, list of sort of suggestions surrounding them um, you know, import them into other software, do keyword checks, um, all that sort of thing. So it's quite useful. The the um, keyword scraper there, you can you can get some good um, data out of it. It's done there now. Now we've got 500, and I mean I could um, send those back again, and you know, come up with four or five thousand again. But that's how that one works. Um, close out of that um, you could have sent it back to the harvester there and started harvesting URLs surrounding that um, here's the, the Google locality feature that I mentioned before and I mean as I said you can put um, any of the um, regional Googles in there and, and switch between it for the harvester keyword scraper and um, that sort of thing so that's really the keyword feature